get executing assembly. Make sure it's a method dot get name dot version. Whew, that's a lot. All right, and now we have to compare the two versions. So if application version dot compare to new version less than zero. And this basically says this uh, compare to method returns an int value that is less than zero. If this is less than this, it returns an int value that is greater than zero. If um, this if this is greater than this, which probably should never happen, it should, probably should only return zero or negative number, negative one probably. All right, then let's do. Right line, do you, I guess, version, and then we do new version dot major. There's probably an easier way to do this, but this is the only thing I could think of. Plus new version dot minor. This just has all the version things in it, so it looks nice and neat. I don't really feel like looking for a better way of cool app is now available would you like to download it okay and you can do this with message message box to message boxes too if uh, you're, you're running a Windows form application and then we're going to I guess we should direct them. Okay, and then if this is all superfluous information here. Okay, so if they said yes, they wouldn't download the new thing. Then we do system dot diagnostics process dot start download URL. And this will just open up whatever their default web browser is and it'll go to this URL which we set in the XML file. And then else, I guess, uh, environment.exit. Whatever, they don't want to do anything, so we're just going to close them. But um, actually, in this case, you'd continue on with your application um, since they don't want to update it. So we'll just get rid of that. All right, and I guess we should probably add a else statement here right line uh, this app is up to date and since our XML file which I didn't close this time is version 1.8.3 and for this you can change your version by the way I don't know if you guys know this by right clicking properties on this clicking assembly information you can change it here all right, and it is currently version 1.0.0, so this should definitely prompt us for a download. Let's try it. Uh oh, what do we get? 404 not found. Sorry about that. I forgot to set some permissions on my um, web server. So okay, so we have this file, and let's go ahead and start it up. It should work this time. All right, version 1.7.4 cool app is now available. Would you like to download it? Yes. Boom, there it is. Sweet, my website. All right. <laughs> and if I go into this, go to properties, change this, change this to seven, this to four, and save it, rebuild the application, run it, it should be up. Yeah, it's up to date, it closes though. All right. And that's all I have for this tutorial. If you'd like to learn anything more about C Sharp or Visual Studio or blah, 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 uh, make sure to leave a comment on my videos. Make sure to subscribe and visit the uh, links in my description. They're awesome. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.